That a boy. As you continue to progress, yeah, you'll get more comfortable with taking that approach to those at bats. Well, we were driving home from Big Bear. Uh, kind of the way I spent the last summer enjoying time with the family and we were in the car about five miles from the stadium, which was even more bizarre. And Sam and Mark Pryor called me and told me they'd made some changes within the organization and there might be some availability at, the, at this position at Lake Elsinore and kind of caught me off guard. So I asked for about a couple hour window to drive home, think about it, talk it over with the wife and the kids and uh, got home, made a call and uh, here I am. Nice, D. Good job, Mitch. Well, there was a lot of changes going on in the big league level. You know, Murph got moved up to the big league manager. And um, so we kind of, everybody was kind of didn't know what direction we were going to go, who was going to be our new hitting coach, if we were going to get a manager, things that way. And then uh, we heard Xavier was going to be our hitting coach. And, you know, I grew up following him. We had the same agent since I signed. And, you know, so I knew kind of a little bit of background about him. When I found out that Xavier was our hitting coach, I was pretty fired up. He, um, you know, I, I remember following him when he was in the big leagues and stuff, and so to get an opportunity to play for a guy like that is, is a cool experience. Three to five, babe. When I stepped away from the game last year, it's really when being at home and hanging out and there was something missing, you know, and I'd always thought, it would be of interest of getting back in the game. I didn't know to what extent and was volunteering at a, local, at a high school in San Diego and this comes about, so I wanted to give it a shot. I wanted to see if I had the, the passion, the fire, you know, that I had playing and so far it's, it's, been a, it's been an amazing experience. You know, it's an unbelievable group of kids. It's very rewarding, it's challenging and uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. A guy like that, he's been in the big league, so he gets it. He understands the process, how to get there, what you need to do on a day-in, day-out basis, you know, how you need to approach hitting and approach just carrying yourself, you know, every day. So it's great just to not only, like, get in the cage and do the work with the guy, with somebody like that, but at the same time, you know, just talk about the game, talk about certain situations, certain approaches and things you may just want to think about in, in and at bat or just throughout the day. He doesn't impose too much pressure on us or anything. It's just a matter of, you know, going up to him and saying, hey, like, these are my thoughts on this at bat or this approach. And he's, uh, he's very calm about everything, you know, the way he goes about um, approaching the game. And so for me personally, it's, you know, he, he's laid back and he can tell you this is how I handle things. Make a throw and strikes. this is what worked for me and this Make is for strikes, other babe. professional players that I've played with. And so that's, that's big for us to be able to go to him for that. For me, it's been a quick learning process trying to find their strengths, weaknesses, and getting to know them, getting to know what drills they like to do, what they don't like to do, their approach in the game. And it's, uh, it's been fun, but like I said, it's been challenging and you gotta take it all in stride and keep, uh, most importantly, keep them believing in themselves. At the end of the day, this is our career. This is something that we're gonna have to nurture on our own. And so I think that's, you know, he does a really good job of that is giving us advice and then allowing us to run with one thing or the other. And that's really on us because at the end of the day, it's our career. Yeah, get down. A boy, D. You got a very laid back personality, very fun to be around. I've always been pretty laid back. And then obviously when you're a coach and you come in and, you know, as long as guys are, you want them to have fun. You want them to, to get better. You want to provide them with as much information. He's definitely a player's coach. He just kind of gives you insight as to what he feels would be good for you. And then it's kind of up to your, you know, your decision whether you want to go through with something. And that's the thing is that, you know, like I said, he's been there. At the end of the day, you're still playing a game. It's still, you know, they've got their whole careers ahead of them. You want them to understand that there's going to be good days and bad days. You know, it's a long grind. But from my standpoint, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I hear from other people. I don't know how I'm perceived, but I tend to have fun and, you know, uh, keep, it, keep it relaxed in that dugout.
Lots of questions from these guys asking, you know, who's the toughest pitcher you ever faced? What was the best night you ever had? What was this? What was that? And uh, a lot of it goes back to those years in Elsinore, too, where I first, first year in pro ball, and, you know, you're learning the game, you're doing the grind just like them, trying to get better. And even Tate was asking me last night, you know, he's like, give me a breakdown of your overall year from 2001. And it's amazing how time flies, and you have a tough time recalling a lot of stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been outstanding. A lot of familiar faces, and most importantly, it's close to home. To be honest with you, when I took the job, my goals were still just take this and give it a shot. You know, I, I found out in these few weeks, I really enjoy it. I, it's a very rewarding experience. And, you know, you work with a kid one day that early that afternoon, he goes out and has success that night. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's like one of your own out there. Wherever he goes, I know a lot of guys are going to like him and guys are going to love to play for him. So for me, I'm just enjoying it, and you know, hopefully there'll be some some interest at the end of the year, and uh, kind of just play day by day, and uh, just continue to have fun and, and see where it takes me.